There they are. <laughs> there they are. Getting ready to go on some bike riding on the volcano. Yeah, this is the um, this is the room we like. It's kind of the unofficial e bike room. E bike room, that's a good name but, for it. Yeah, because you can go out the little back patio and. Yeah, it couldn't be any easier, right? Yeah, it couldn't. You don't have to worry about your bikes in the car or something. There, you can bring them right in. Yeah, you don't want to leave anything yeah. like this. In I don't the know car. if it's official. We just we do things the way we do them. Right? Yeah. But look where you're right in front of your room. You walk out, and there it is, the caldera. And I mean, it's vast. Yeah. I mean, Last time we went, we missed it by one day. One day, the next morning, that erupted right down there over the edge. It was, you know, like a 60-foot plume of lava. Yeah, actually, we got home, and two hours later, it was erupting. It was erupting, but... Anyways, maybe we get we lucky go. again. Maybe we'll get lucky again, but here we go. We're going to take our inaugural ride. We just got checked in and landed. Yeah, we couldn't wait to go riding. Yeah, and then we're it's up. so much fun. It's relaxing. It's just... It's so neat up there too with all the ferns and uh, just the way it feels. Kind of takes you a while to get used to the high elevation though. It does a little bit. I got a little dizzy right there. Well, Bam! Poop. <laughs> <laughs> but this little escape route and. Yeah. This, you know, it takes a little bit. Because the air is just so nice. The air is only out. It's a little thinner than we're used to yeah. in our elevation. But here we go. There's the hotel. That's the big part of the hotel. We we don't ever stay up in these rooms. A lot of people like it, but we like the little back area. Yeah, we like. I mean, I don't I don't know what these rooms look like, but I like just the choice of taking our bike in and out easy. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's out. But, you know, we don't like storm. In the no, car bring anyways, it to the lobby. They might yeah. get a little sconce, but yeah. It's, now there's no, you know, there's no TVs or um, microwaves or refrigerators. It's an old, older hotel. It's historic, so. Yeah, so you've got to bring your cooler. You bring your stuff. And, and you got to bring food, a lot of you've food. You've got to bring, if you can, bring your own food because yeah, we have can't. no food recommendations up there in, in the hotel or up anywhere around there. We've struck out on. What, it's sad because we're not that picky. Well, maybe we are. I don't maybe know. Maybe we are. I don't know. We like just. Eating. It's just somewhat something, healthy. yeah, or just something kind of well prepared, not just kind of foisted together. Yeah, but there's really no recommendation, no, sadly. But here we, all right, here we get a start. It almost lost me for a second there, but there we go. I'm not sure what's going on now, but we stopped. Know, but <laughs> here we go. There we go. We love those bikes. They we just, like these little bikes. They're pulled up, or you can leave them however you want to do them, but they're really fun. And this is like one of the old roads that they closed down because it um, went over. A lot of it dropped off into that caldera you saw. Yeah, it's pretty scary looking if you look yeah. down. You don't want to get too close. I, I mean, I, don't I can't remember when they closed these, but there's like, you know, if you're a hiker, there's all these little trails too. Yeah, it's, you know, you got to like heights. Because it's pretty way, it's way up there. But it's a nice little drop because you have the ferns and the big trees kind of cruising by. You don't have to it's worry like, about cars and then. Um, feels like Jurassic Park. It kind of does feel like <laughs> Jurassic Park. You could see a dinosaur and then you have the little. Especially when, <laughs> it gets, when yeah. there's clouds coming in and gets all misty. That's and right. Feels like you definitely some somewhere prehistoric with yeah, the trees and the ferns and world. Uta likes to I like to call this the bridge. Even though it's not a bridge, it kind of <laughs> it is kind of like bridge. a suspension bridge in a way. I really never paid that close attention. Yeah, on, and I told you know it's kind of called it a bridge. Yeah, it looks like a bridge. It does, and on the other side of that, it drops off. Yeah, it's a little, luckily it's not a bridge. Yeah, it's a little yeah, pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty steep. Okay, here we go. Again, we had to just decide which turn to make, but this is the one. The weather was amazing. It was a little chilly. Little Let's chilly, see. but um, you, you don't really mm -hmm. capture it. Slightly misty with the clouds floating through. Because yeah. we kind of like it a little bit warmer. We do out used to it a little warmer, yeah. but it was just right. We weren't freezing yet or anything like that. I think last time it was a lot cooler. It was a lot cooler last time we were there. This time it was pretty nice. And, and we've lucked out because it rains a lot there. Yeah. But we've lucked out with no rain both. I think at one time. But I think it was just misty. It kind of yeah. felt like it was you know, starting to rain a little bit. 
big yeah. cloud. Big cloud came through. Yeah. We like the little detour. A lot of people miss this both ways because it seems like nobody goes there. They walk because a lot of people walk. They just keep going straight. Yeah. But if you go out here, here's the old lookout. This is like the best place to stop. It really is. I mean, it's a spectacular view. You always meet some random people. Yeah, we met a lot of random people there. A guy from Japan last time. Um, Today, this time, it was Mr. Panoramic. This is Mr. Panoramic, and not on the bridge. We met those two guys on their bikes. Yeah. And they like to look at our bikes because they were small, and I don't think they had e-bikes. No, right. they, they had just regular bikes. Yeah. Yeah. We love our bikes because it's just still riding a bike. It's still riding a bike, and you have that little extra. And I like the smaller bike. I've always had, but you know, they're so easy, and you can really we go pretty good on them. And sometimes a little bit longer rides. But yeah, each time we take them out, we yeah. get more attachments. We get now we got some new lights to put on for the next time. Yeah, we do have newer lights. Yeah, they're much better, and much brighter. And new water bottles too. Yeah, new water bottles so there we don't we keep losing them. I gotta get a picture. We're so, letting the yeah. Mr. the panorama guy when he was doing a lot of panorama, so we didn't want to bug him and. And we'll be, we've been here a lot because it is hard to capture how big of a view that is there even with the yeah, anything you can't really show, <laughs> you can't really show, show it yeah. without being there because it is pretty expansive but off we go again we do a lot of quick stops yeah we do wish there was places we could stop and yeah i had a little coffee or something coffee. nice but there just isn't no. there's some of the hikers coming back Out, folks, there's some crazy e bikers coming by. Yep. Don't look over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't take it. But here we go, we're back on the road. Here we go. And it's uh, God, it's just so great that this road is closed to traffic because it really gives you a great it's yep. almost like dropping right. back, like the dinosaurs are going to come back because yeah, nature's it's... taking it over. And that's, I think, the only place we can ride without cars without the fear of cars. Yeah. And it's a slight down, downhill right now. So when you head out, you get a really good coast. Not too fast, but just right. Sometimes it gets bumpy there, too. It's an old road. It's an old road, and there's a lot of little earthquakes always down there. Yeah. So it is a, 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 you know, erupting every now and then. So there's some big cracks here and there. Yeah, and now just... we get to do the technical ride. Yeah, See, like that road bitch. dropped in, I think, and then they send you around and... Yeah, that's a bit scary. Yeah. Hopefully we yeah, don't stop. go down. Oh, I did a little boof when I backpedaled on my... But there we go. We're back on line. You stay I, focused on I did. Trail. I don't know what I... <laughs> you do have to stay focused because if, if you look closely on the right side, there's big crevasses. Yeah. And then it just drops off. You know, you don't want to... I think it's like right here. Yeah, Ooh, a lot of people yeah. would walk, but look, there's the crevasse. And then on the other side of and that, it drops. One. These nice ladies offered to step aside. We didn't try to run them down. Yeah. We, they were very We nice. ring our bell. We ring our bells and uh, we would walk along with them if, if, they, yeah. if it was, if they didn't care about anything. Yeah. But look how neat this little section. Our little bikes do this great and it's kind of an adventure, kind of a technical ride, I guess. Well, common courtesy. Common, we ride this common. Yeah, you got, we do ride with common courtesy. Yeah, that's what you have to do. But I, I kind of like this little section. If you had to do this a long distance, it might get a little old. But um, it's nice. It's a nice short little jaunt, and then you're back on the road again. Yeah. And that's if you're, a fun. That's a fun. Yeah. If you're a hiker, I think this one actually goes all switchbacks down into that. Yeah, too bad we can't ride our bikes. Down yeah. We bounce we, down that trail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might have to circle around to get back out. But. Yeah. And then, yeah. Look at here. It really is taking over. It's really moving in and crouching. Yeah. And, but I really kind of like it. Yeah, Take Mother it Nature taking it back. Yeah. That road will go, it shrunk. It is shrunk. <laughs> I want, you know, I bet they kind of clear it just a little bit once yeah. in a while. But they probably have to. Yeah, because it would, it would grow over quick here. Yeah. It would definitely, this, um, these ferns and things would take it over. Everything's growing up there. It's amazing. There we go. That section's neat, and then... You think we just dirt biking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we come yeah. around back on the road. I forget which goes to the right. 
but one time we went that way. But I think they end up at the same spot up here, actually. I think we drove up they that do. trail one time before. Yeah, we did the trail once, which is where they laid a water line. But there's no sign saying not to or anything. And then this section is really nice, but no one, this is kind of an access road for the um, yeah. park workers. So people don't drive up this road. There's a big sign saying no. I'm trying know. to remember where this one goes to. So that, does it go to the lava tube? This is going to the lava tube when we um, hook into the axle road with traffic. It goes down yeah. to that big lookout. Okay. It's kind of like this one. And then Thurston Lava Tube. I don't think we went down all the way. No, we didn't. So. We've, we've been through the lava tube. and yeah. You know, if you've never been there, you're going to do the lava tube. But it's kind of a thronging. A lot of people do the lava <laughs> tube. But if you've never been in the park, you have to do the lava tube. Yeah, it's Bring a flashlight. Bring a flashlight. Well, they don't let you in that back area. Oh, they now. don't? No. Oh, gosh, that's scary. Yeah, too many but, um, people got, yeah, did they go silly crazy. things. It's so they dark. locked that gate. You used to be able to go back there, but. You can't go in there anymore. No. People but it's dark if you don't have a flashlight. It's a mistake. Yeah, there's all the YouTubers now. It has to be. Yeah, they have a lot. Some lock of the stuff up. up. And here we are into the, the real world with cars. And this is the accent. This is the um, yeah. main road in to the lava tube. The speed limit here is about 15 miles. It is 15 miles an hour on this road. So yeah. We're going to brave it for a minute. We usually don't like driving with cars, but we'll brave it. We've been down past the tube. Yeah. And it's a busy weekend. So there's a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. And uh, you know, some people are in a hurry. And you shouldn't be because it's It's really 15. nice. Yeah, it's 15, and this is a great little slow drive, too, because... You got the ferns and the trees and yeah, it was a great weekend. All the ride. birds chirping. There's a lot of sounds like that, but you can see the rental cars are they troop in and out all day on this section. Mm, I'm gonna try to make it down if we're on a bus. I think we are gonna make another trip down. And once you get past the lava tube, there's not as much traffic. If you know, because that one year we rode with the guy from Japan a little bit of this road. He went fast. He went fast. <laughs> He wasn't, um, well, those guys in that little group of bikes, they stayed right in the road. They didn't. Um, he passed me, like, going, I don't know how fast he was yeah, going. Yeah, they was didn't cool. stay to the side. But we keep up a, pretty much a 15 mile per hour on this. So, you know, downhill and slight uphills, but um, nothing horribly challenging or tiring. But look how neat it is with the ferns zipping by. Yeah, and it's a nice ride. The birds are chirping out in the rainforest. And, there's that nice kind of moist smell yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's a and nice ride. It, and it's a very, you know, it, the uh, bike doesn't really show, but this is a windy road. Really windy. Yeah, that almost is um, showing it straight, but it's really windy. So you're hard pressed to go too yeah, fast. Yeah, lots of bumps anyway. in the road too. You gotta be really. Yeah, a lot of bumps. It's pretty good right now, but the earthquake causes <laughs> little rifts every now yeah, and then. Yeah, you have to be careful. Watch for those yeah. bumps going down that. Yeah, but it's a nice, the guy's a wonderful ride. We just zip a little, oh, there we go, oh God. So you get almost yeah, clipped on a double line. Yeah. Going to, into a corner, yeah. almost heads on this car, and then almost takes out the poor hiker. Yeah. So this was our most dangerous encounter. Yeah, this and, was. Yeah, he's kind of embarrassed. Now he's slamming on his brakes trying to get around the corner, but you'll see. He can't even get that far because two more corners. There's probably 500 cars and parking lots and exactly. rangers stopping you. And you can see he just made it around the corner. And if he was mm -hmm. patient, he could have just passed us here without yeah. killing six people. But yeah, anyway. yeah, that's why we don't like that. <laughs> that's why there's we do always not. One person there's around. always one. But anyway. That's why we decide it's time to turn around. Yeah, we're going to turn around because we just got here. And that was an omen of crazy yeah. drivers so and this is uh right before sunset too it's getting near sunset so yeah. we're gonna go back and watch the sun go down around that caldera too yeah and there's easily you know i've never been down this one but it you know it just says no parking it doesn't say you can't go and we people must like cruise down there. down there one one of these trips will do more of those rides we'll oh, maybe a little drink of water now we're gonna zip watch out and we're gonna make our <laughs> Escape. Escape. <laughs> Gear up. Safe. Escape. I had issues with my bike that trip. You did. You had it uh, with the Candon sensor was acting up here and there. So. Yeah, it was hardcore. It would always stop right going up. Yeah, up. just every now and, and then. I lost total power. 
we realized it was just out of position yeah. after I learned about well, we learned about yeah. it a little bit, but it was intermittent too, so it was aggravating here and there. Yeah. Most of the time, it worked good. I was able to keep up with you. Yeah, you sure. no, you go fast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it messes up that much because I'm always like racing to keep up with you. It was just uh, aggravating every time you get yeah, really good pace going. Certain, I would get yeah. out and would. Yeah. It, totally shut down on any other Then you're suddenly, and, yeah. yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. Here we're going back, sli you know, slightly uphill. But you can easily hit the speed limit. But yeah, we just didn't trust cars that much. But we do love this ride, and this is what you see. Oh, there, there they are. That's the hikers. There's our hikers, our fellow hikers. We all survived yeah. the red rental. They and were dark close to. We learned yeah. we need to we get some brighter stuff now. Yeah, they waved at us too, like, well, we should. Yeah. We do have brighter jackets too, because yeah. you can see from this, you, you really need to. The lights show you, but you know, it's. I think it's better to be brighter. So yeah. definitely, Especially you just can't trust cars, no matter what the rule is. But there we go. There we go. See, you came right up on me. See, we go. Um, we stick to the side. No, we're not going to fly off into the bushes. But, well, there you go. Another rental trying to clip us. But And the local lowrider, though, gave us a wide berth. So yeah. that's a little more courteous um, passing. I once some guy said that all the people tried to run him over on his bike. But I think <laughs> those were actually the other the other rental cars and tourists, not yeah. the, the uh, residents are relatively um, courteous to bicycles. In most occasions, most yeah, you know, out in the country like this. But here we are. But this is back. a if place you, where you should take your time. You should take your time because there's so much to see, and it's so ep. I mean, everything's epic. And here mm -hmm. we go. We're gonna get off this main road. Back. Ooh, Ooh, there we go. Mr. The <laughs> last like danger stop sign runner, and huh? all right, back on the safe access road. <laughs> here we go. That was close again. That was close encounters, but yeah, here's where it got a little misty. A little yeah. mist were floating out of the forest, and you can see it's 15. But here, no one drives, be, you know, it's yeah. just a yeah, access just, road. So we're not going to worry. You don't here. see many bikes out there. What's surprising? You don't see many bikes. We have seen, we do see a couple, but not a lot. I think last year we've seen a lot of yeah. Tourist groups on We bikes. saw a tourist group and then the guy from Japan that yeah. was on his bike, he was going around the world places. But this time we didn't see anybody on a bike, actually. No. <laughs> there, we switched so I could feel her sensor, so I could, yeah. We were diagnosing yeah, it. You diagnosing could, I could feel it just cuts out on occasion, just which is aggravating. Yeah. But it did work most of the time. We do have a new one, but I figured out it had slipped out of position. It was just in the wrong spot. It was in the wrong spot, but we're, here we go. But you can see it works most of the time. And yeah, we're now we're going back up that slight hill, but it's really easy and it's so nice here. It's a nice ride. Yeah, yeah. it's a really nice Peaceful. ride. Peaceful, adventurous, nice green meadows everywhere. Mm -hmm. Slightly cool. Not many people. At Not all. many people once you're off the uh, yeah. main road in those main spots. You don't see a lot of people. It's really neat. Occasional okay. steam vent. And... There we go. Now we're going to switch back. We've, we we figured it out. And it's fixed now. Yeah, it's fixed now. Now we like these e-bikes, though. I don't think I'd get a big full-sized one. I really like the smaller bike. For what we use, I'm not thinking. For what we do. Kind of, yeah. And probably what, you know, maybe one day we're using more, we'll want to... Upgrade to something with bigger tires, maybe cargo-ish, but you know these are nice bikes, and they lasting us really. They, you know, they're good yeah. quality. We've had very little trouble on with them over the years. There's we had this. them for a few years now already. Yeah. Yeah, five, four, five. Yeah. There we go. The sun's back out through the cloud. Yeah, it's almost sunset time. Actually. Sunset's coming up. Yeah, uh, that's why we're going back. We're going it gets back. dark quickly. Yeah, it gets dark quickly, and uh, I'm sure it's dark out on this trail if you don't have a flashlight with you. Yeah, I do have one in our bag just in case, but yeah. or if you don't have a bright headlight, we have better lights now. Yeah, and we're definitely not ready to ride in the dark. No, not with the uh, mm -hmm. cars anyway. <laughs> 
There you go. And going this way, look, there's a mystery hiker standing there. Yeah, and going this way, you um, kind of see how it is. And here's our little adventure ride. Dirt biking. Adventure. Dirt biking. <laughs> there's hapu ferns on one side and yeah. ohia trees. And then every now and then you get to see the crevasse that's kind of hidden in all these bushes. But, but it's right there. It is right there. It's closer than I mean, you, you think. You can look down on a couple and you of go, spots. Well, look at that. It's right there. You right don't want to fall away from it if you got to fall. Sacrifice yourself into the other side. Yeah. That's so neat because the trees come up a little rude. And, uh, yeah, right here you yeah, can see. Look like right down. Way. There's the caldera and there's a huge crevasse right there. Yeah, we don't want to point down. You don't, yeah, you don't want to go don't down. don't like there. heights, so we, I can't even look at it. I have to keep moving. It's pretty deep. I'm not sure how because all these ferns grow in there. But yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's... And then it's right there next to the trail. What makes it even more fun. <laughs> it does make it more fun. We're kind of... <laughs> can make it a lot more adventurous. And then it's neat because you just pop out and there you are. You can just pretend. Yeah. Yeah. We like to have fun. We like to have fun. And this is like... You know, it's a great national park. Um, they don't have a lot of camping and things like this. A couple of places, but they have a lot of trails. Yeah, you took me to a place you want to take me camping, mm -hmm. but it's like, oh my gosh, it's just—it's out, out there. nowhere. It is out nowhere. It's—it's it's the only know. place, or there's a place up by the highway. You That's where we might shows. stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't watch those yeah, shows. This is they like ruin a, some yeah. stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit scary for me right now. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, you look at your cell phone there's no service yeah because in some places you do get the SOS yeah. and past the SOS where we don't know what that symbol is yeah I'm not sure that <laughs> symbol means no service at all yeah so well, you're sure <laughs> luck to hike it out but then you go up a hill and there'd be full service but there we go. See, you can see why people would just walk straight back towards the hotel because it's a straight line. Yeah, but you need to turn right there. If you turn right there and you just take the slight detour, yeah. you come up to the uh, well, viewpoint. Luck. Yeah, That's where everyone's driving to is a similar place to this, but it's yeah. bigger and has a huge parking lot now. This is like the old one from the 60s or something. Well, because there it is right there. There it look is. at this view. Look at this yeah. view you're riding up to. Now we get it's hard our, to share the whole view. It is there. hard to, um, even though you're looking, it's hard to, yeah. this, without being there, yeah. about how huge that is. There's steam vents in the bottom, and then yeah. part of it's a deeper caldera. And my camera was on my handlebar, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so there's our trusty steeds. <laughs> there you go, you got it all. Now we get our picture too. Pictures, gotta take we have pictures. a few pan, but you got to do a panorama if you come here or some picture, and you just do. Yeah. But look at it; it's um, you know, there's the Giamma. You know, I, there's they don't have the elevation. You can't read on that. Just that really? it was put there in 1965. But look at it; it's a huge. Look at that. I mean, that's miles, and yeah, it's. And that drop is what's on the side of the trail. There we go. Exactly. There you are. It was a fun ride. Now we're going back to have some lattes. Yeah, we're going to have some lattes, some coffee in the room. And, and our sandwich. We bought got. some little um, <laughs> Vietnamese little sandwiches down in Hilo to bring home. They were okay. They were okay. We were hungry. We were hungry. And the other place we usually go to that is really good was closed. Yeah. That moment. And we couldn't out. find it for some reason. No, so we couldn't <laughs> find it, but anyway. Yeah, it was better than if you eat in the hotel. I I don't want to. Well, I do kind of just avoid eating there. That it's um, absurdly bad and extur absurdly expensive. But we brought our own coffee and we brought, brought our own coffee time. and we went and we brought some sandwiches and our food. Yeah. Next trip we'll bring more of our own. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, I mean, if there's something even moderately good, we would um, we brought our go churro. out because we like to go out. <laughs> yeah, we brought a. Our German coffee machine that everybody in the whole hotel heard it going on. Yeah, every morning. <laughs> they're going. What the hell? Those guys are sitting out there. They're going up to that obscure little coffee pot by the desk, right? Yeah, probably heard the grinder. Yeah, <laughs> grinders going. <laughs> We're out there with our mugs in front of the room, yeah. and it's a nice place. Yeah, we always just wish there was a bakery or something, but there yeah. just is not. 
Yeah, I always would like to just say, okay, we, that bakery, I Googled, but nothing came nothing. out. Nothing. We got to bring our own. But, but then you're kind of out there too, but that's what's nice about it. There we go. Ota goes pretty fast on that bike. I always have to kind of keep up with her. What are you talking about? <laughs> you do. You zip in that thing. I, if I don't keep up. Even though we're kind of filming, so you couldn't see what it looks like. I go in three and eight, and you go in five and five. No? Yeah, because you have five lights for your electric power and eight yeah. speeds. So we usually, I try to ride in three, and then I shift more. Yeah. And on hills, I sometimes go to five or six. I always ride in eight. In gear eight and Just three lights. You don't shift your gears that much. Not that much. Sometimes I have one light or two lights. <clears throat> Three lights is good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. That little road's closed off. We could see yes, it this the time. the imaginary bridge. Yeah, the imaginary bridge. But mm -hmm. it looks like a suspension bridge. You know, it just needs to it's bounce. just trying to keep everybody away from... Yeah, the edge. The edge. Yeah, you know, there's a reason they put that there in this section. Is um, Yeah, there's a big drop right there. <laughs> it's best not to think about it. Yeah, you and then you feel good. You off now, I can't it's just wide enough for a bike. I guess you'd yeah. have to get, you know, if there's a lot of people, you'd have to walk through that. Yeah. yeah. We not. try to be, we try to courteous. be courteous to the hiker. But you yeah, don't see a lot of people. Be. couple. And our other rides, we met a few people we chatted to. We've seen so far, I think, two, the two women. The two women, these two, and if you count the people by the hotel and the two yeah. kids, but six yeah. people. This whole time. And the hikers down there, but you don't see a lot of people. And one, and then you pop out, here you are, back to. The, almost back to the hotel. Yeah, almost back to the hotel, kind of back to semi-civilization. There's the wall and the rangers' houses and stuff are over on one side, and then here's the hotel. The hotel's ran by a private company, not the not the park really. They lease it to someone. Yeah, they just need to do some sort of that food. Yeah, too. We are breaking the rule by going to do not enter. We are sometimes we do ride around just to be that way, but we <laughs> snuck the back way this time. <laughs> yeah. The parking lot filled up while we were gone though. Yeah, a lot, lot of people, people got around. here, so that's one thing, if you're staying here, sometimes when you arrive, you may have to park across the street and and then go get your car if a place opens, but we made it back You are breaking a lot. Look at this. I never even realized that. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. We're going... Yeah, that's yeah. pretty bad. Look at the sign right there. Right there. Go face. right through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's re rebellious. Yeah. And then our, back through our little trail, yeah. which is neat. It's kind of like you're sneaking in. You're not really, but it gives you kind of an impression... The yeah, I guess and, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's the old annex part. And then there is our... And there's our little room. You're just right there. There's the caldera we just rode around. And the big ferns. And, and there we go. Yeah, there's your lights off. Lights off. Voila. Voila. And then that, look at your back and that's, that's what you see. I'm going to send yeah. you the check if there's any <laughs> lava fountains and it's safe. Wouldn't you go look. Sense? I mean, we were just. Uh, you were just sometimes you just have to look down there and say, "Okay." Okay, <laughs> it's a down. It's a long yeah. way. Yeah, but nothing's is. going off. I think it's we're really debating whether we should take too. another quick ride, but we. It's did. really quiet there. You don't hear a lot. There's little birds. You don't hear a lot. There's no TVs going or anything. Nothing. It's just really nice and peaceful out there. At there night time too. Yeah. Here, here. I had to send new tests to go around and open the front door. They, they don't give you a key to this door. I guess you could ask, but we don't. Yeah. We just use the, the uh, little slot and come in the other way. It's easy to do. There we go. You got your slider. Yeah, and then you just roll right in. Bring those bikes in. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's official biking room, but it's our biking room. Yeah, we kind of moved in for three days. Yeah, we moved in for three days. We had a blast. We went in and out so much. But there you go. You got a little couch. And um, yeah, it's a great room. And they it, have a heater. And they have a heater. And that's, and that's, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's right. And then 
this isn't really a bike trail. We realized when we rode a little bit, but you can go on this trail both ways right out of the room. It's excellent. Beautiful, you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Peace out.